hi it's sarah here from so sarah style welcome back to my channel well i have been to the dressmakers ball and i'm here to tell you all about it um it was a fantastic uh, weekend it's um a ball in leicester organized by sarah and freya for, of the crafty so and so i think it's been going for about I think this is the fourth or fifth ball um, and it's held in the city rooms in Leicester which is a, a beautiful old building uh, with the pillars and the high ceilings and the chandeliers it's a proper place for a ball um, and um, so um, Adele went last year Adele from Sofa Serenity so she said right come on I highly recommend you come along this year so I'm really glad I did we had such um, such a fun time met loads of lovely people um, Adele kindly drove so we stayed at the Gresham um, hotel which is literally within a stone's throw of the city rooms so that was really convenient and um, stayed with just a really fun group of girls some of who um, I knew from before some of, um, of whom I've never met before but we just all gelled and, and just had a really good time. So the day started with Adele and I getting to the Gresham to meet the girls who were, who were already there. They'd arrived earlier that morning and um, they were um, Michelle Sewing Bunny, who I'd never met before. She's great fun. And um, Stacey, who is Notions of a Dressmaker on Instagram. She's fabulous. Um, the lovely Katie from um, Whatever Katie Sews on Instagram. She was also part of the, the, uh, the group. And um, What Beck Sews from um, YouTube, who is yeah, just lovely. And Adele and I, obviously. So the um, the five, six of us, um, we went out and had a pizza for lunch. And then um, Beck took Adele and I, because we'd missed out, because we were slightly late arriving. We'd missed out on the first shopping wave. So after pizza, Beck took us down to um, Roy's Fabric World and we had um, a bit of a spend there. I'll, I'll show you my my um, my fabric haul a little bit later in the video. His um, shop is amazing. And then we also had a little route around the market, the fabric market as well. So that was that was brilliant. Um, and then we got back, had a bit of a rest um, and got ourselves ready to go out, whereupon we all met on Stacey's balcony. Um, she was so lucky she had this amazing uh, balcony which looked out over the, the rooftops of Leicester and um, she'd laid out beautiful, some beautiful nibbles for us and some champagne. So we, um, we all kind of indulged in that and then we had a bit of a practice of the catwalk on um, and took had a lovely photo shoot and practiced the catwalk up on her balcony which was brilliant the girls were practicing their twirling so i'll put some shots of them in now um just to get to, just to get the full you know full idea of what their dresses looked like so they looked amazing and then it was my turn to have a go at practicing the catwalk well this dress um has got a huge train i haven't measured it but it's a few feet long and um, I kind of thought that it might be a little bit of a problem, but um, yeah, it was very, very easy to trip over as you can see. So I'll insert, insert a little bit of footage. This is real life. This is me practicing the catwalk um, on the terrace and getting myself into a bit of a fix, to be honest. Um, but I'm glad that I practiced it because then you'll see, I'll follow on with the footage of me um, actually then walking the catwalk and Thank goodness I didn't trip over. So um, I'll let you have a look at that now. Are we going? It's yeah. going. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Definitely saw you pass, sir. Oh, 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 take two. <laughs> oh, I've got to practice this whole thing. thing. You, you, need to, you need to pull, you need to hold it like slightly up in the Black middle. Really just there, you need to like it out. Of, don't hold it. That's it. it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my oh god. god. <laughs> So the accessory that I was swinging around my head when I was doing the catwalk is actually this. It was a bit of a lifesaver. Um, it was a bulldog clip, which I used to pin up the bottom of my dress. Um, I'd kind of done a little bit of research into it and seen that um, with bridal gowns, um, often they will have 
a clip at the bottom. Obviously, it's a bit more blingy than this, but I just kind of thought, well, actually, this one goes better. I didn't want anything too blingy. Um, so I was able then to kind of ruche up quite a bit of the bottom of the dress, just clip it on there, and then I wore it over my wrist, which um, which worked really very well, to be honest. And um, so I actually put, very cheekily, put my bulldog clip in for best accessory um, of the night. But sadly, it was just pipped to the post by the most stunning headdress, headpiece that um, Adrienne uh, Martelli had made. Um, and she just looked absolutely incredible. Her and her husband had come over from America and she wore the most beautiful 1950s style dress um, that she'd obviously made. And she created this headdress, which was made. I'll just put a picture in so you could just have a look at this, just enjoy. It's absolutely stunning. Cotton reels and um, I think I think there's some measuring tape, isn't there, and flowers. It was just, I just, I bumped into it in, in, the, in the ladies as you do in the queue and just had to complete, just had to stand and admire um, all the little bits and bobs that she'd put in there. It was a very, very worthy winner, I have to say. So that kind of put the bulldog clip in the shade somewhat, but it was an it was a useful accessory and isn't that kind of like one of the most things you have to have something either beautiful or useful or that was useful. Um, talking of accessories, the other things that kind of came together, they were things that I already had and I thought, right, what have I got to judge this dress up a bit because it is a little bit of a bland colour. Just so happened that I had these earrings from Zara, which I'd never worn before, but I kind of think they, they worked really well. And then I had another route around and found my um, trusty gold sandals from Marks and Spencer. So they're nice and comfy, sensible, um, but they did the trick nicely. So that, so my accessories worked as well. Um, ooh, getting on to the dress itself, um, as I said on my last video, um, it's it's uh, the Mood Clementine pattern, which is usually um, a short sleeve and tends to be made out of very pretty um, sort of cottons and that kind of thing. But I used, this um oh it's it's got to be polyester because actually i've had a look through because i knew it was from my stash and i've had a look through my emails and found out that it was from pound fabrics and it was wait for it a pound a meter so they described it as an olive dull satin which i kind of think is probably a good explanation a good description of it but it's the most beautiful fabric to work with i have to say this is i think this is completely a case of the fabric making the dress because it had just the right um drape and feel it's so lightweight that actually even having this enormous in fact it's so big it's stuck under the foot of my um of my model here um a huge train it wasn't it wasn't too heavy it was just held up with elastic i used slightly thicker elastic than the pattern called for because I wanted to, to just make sure that I had enough strength to hold the weight of the train. Um, other than that, I didn't really make any any other changes other than I just extended the sleeve out. So that's as it was, but I just literally drew it an extra pattern piece. Um, I don't think I made any other changes to it. It's, um, as you've seen from the catwalk, it's got pockets, which, was, which were actually really useful because it meant that I could kind of fluff it out a little bit um save me tripping over it um i can't really say anything more about it other than for six pounds and a bit of elastic <laughs> i think it was quite a successful dress um i loved it i felt really comfortable and um i did not trip up over it at all all night so thanks to the bulldog clip um i think uh, that sort of saved me to be honest so it was just really good fun it was really good fun to wear the ball itself was such a glamorous event. So many people make absolutely amazing dresses um, and um, and everybody's sort of just, just milling around, looking gorgeous and glamorous. And it's a really good opportunity to, to meet loads of like-minded people. Um, everyone's sort of asking each other what, um, pattern the dress is and what fabric it's made from properly geeking out on sewing it was really really good fun on our table it was great the the girls that I'd spent the day with and also um, the lovely Katie who's my little walking foot she sat next to me we had such a laugh she's really good fun and she aced the catwalk um, and the lovely Sue and Jenny were on the table as well um, and they're always re really lovely lovely girls we meet them at quite a few different sewing events also on the table 
table was the fantastic um, Anna from You Got Me In Stitches and she was wearing the most incredible dress. I will, um, I'll show you a, a picture of it here, um, which was sort of adorned with mushrooms and leaves and creatures of the forest, which was fantastic. So as well as um, Adrienne's amazing hair accessory, the, um, the, um, there, was, there were another couple of prizes and then the overall winner um, was the most worthy winner and it was Ilaria from Zest and Lavender who had hand painted her skirt and um, it was um, absolutely stunning as you can see from this picture. Um, it's just the amount of work that must have gone into it. It was absolutely incredible. So we all had to go up and have a really close up look at the work that she'd done on it. It was just beautiful. And the other thing that I absolutely loved was she'd done, um, she'd made a Chanel style jacket, but she'd worn it back to front or she put it on back to front. So it was really cool. And uh, it, it was sort of slightly open at the back um, with a, a clasp at the top in a this beautiful Chanel pink. She just absolutely smashed it. She looked gorgeous. Um, other notable dresses were, um, I absolutely, well, I thought everybody, to be honest, everybody looked incredible. I thought uh, Nadia from Stitch and Star by Nadia looked fantastic in her dress. I mean, it was like eight meters of, I think it was Cobra Corsage. Um, and she'd even made her husband, Ben, a matching tie and um, bits on his sh uh, shirt as well. So they looked just absolutely such a striking couple they look fabulous and um all the girls as, you, as you've seen um, from my pictures looked amazing um it was lovely to meet angela as well from devon thread tales who had her very gorgeous slinky red dress on um i think it was a sicily slip dress um and also karen from so little time looked gorgeous in her brocade dress as did the other two who were wearing the same fabric, uh, but just in different styles. I think it's it was brilliant just to see how different the fabric can look um, on different people and in different dresses. So that was that was really good fun as well. Um, just absolutely. They were, I don't know, everybody just looked brilliant and we all had a really good time. So what am I wearing now? It is the brown and green show today, I'm afraid. It is, um, but it's, I'm just wearing colours that I really enjoy and I think that just work with my skin and tone and what have you. So um, it's the VN dress from Size Me Sewing and I've made it before. Uh, I have put some, um, in fact, I'll put some photos in because you can't tell here really. It's just so lovely. It's in this viscose, which I bought from Fabric Land. It's really, really comfortable, just nice um, length sleeves with a bit of elastic here and then elastic around the middle. The best pockets on a dress I've ever had, which is fabulous. Um, and I made this actually because I knew that obviously we were going out for lunch and then we were doing brunch the next day. So I'd need something to wear. So that was good. And then, as I say, I'd forgotten to say about that, actually, the day after the ball, we went out uh, for brunch, which is a really lovely um, opportunity to kind of have a, you know, just to get together, have a, have a bit of a giggle and a chat about the night before. And, um, you know, before we all had to, to sort of say goodbye and go our separate ways. So all in all, it's a fantastic weekend. Thank you to Sarah and Freya for organising it all because it, it can't be easy. Um, but it's just, as I say, just such a lovely, glamorous event for everybody to, to get together and enjoy. So thank you. So onto the fabric haul. As I say, Beck took Adele and I after lunch to Roy's Material World, which is in the centre of Leicester. There is a huge selection of different fabrics. I could have been in there all day, but because we're going to um, to the knitting and stitching show in a couple of weeks, we all said, let's just hold back a little bit and not go mad. Um, so I didn't go too mad, but I still managed to get five pieces of fabric. Um, I am thinking, I'm hoping to make a quilted vest jacket um idea i've got i've seen some um some pictures of vests um, i've made one before a quilted vest i'll put in a picture and um which i've really enjoyed which i do wear quite a lot but i've seen a picture of um uh, a vest jacket with like a ruffled almost like a ruffled neck and big ties Anyway, the, the fabric, so I was looking out for fabrics to make that with, and the first one I found is actually um, a Rose and Hubble fabric, but it's a little bit like a Liberty, I think. More green, sorry. Um, and I'm not usually into ditzy prints, but I just think this is so pretty. Uh, so that's, it's just really, really soft, and I've got two metres of that to hopefully make the vest with. Um, 
could do a little bit of um, quilting. So that was the first one. These are all, all six pounds a meter from Roy's, these um, cottons. The second one I absolutely love, greens and browns, um, but they're like, kind of like sunflowers a little bit. And if you look at the, it's got stars on it. I just love, it's just really different actually. I just love the pattern of that. So again, that's another relatively lightweight, soft cotton that I think should quilt quite nicely to make the vest. And the third one I got is actually probably going to be used as a lining fabric, but I just I couldn't leave it. I absolutely love this. It's French dressmaking, um, all different items. Look, there's scissors and there's sewing machines and it's just beautiful. So at some point I am absolutely determined because I've had the pattern for about two or three years or two years um, to make the um, Heather blazer. And I think that would make a really nice lining for the Heather Blazer. I don't think I'd wear it as, as it is, but I think as a lining or um, part of a bag, if I do some bag making, that would, you know, that would work really nicely. That was, again, six pounds a metre. He also has some silks in. Uh, Adele and I bought the same uh, colourway and Bex bought it in the purple. And it's this absolutely beautiful paisley. Um, it's, it's almost like a claret red as well in, in this one with the greens and it's silk and it's just beautiful. So I think I want to make um, an array dress out of this one because it needs something without too many seam lines in it because it's got quite a big print on it. Um, and I don't know, it's just something will come to me, but I absolutely love it. The idea to, you know, first we were thinking, well, maybe a bias slip dress as bias cut skirt but it depends whether you mind or not obviously on the bias the pattern's going to be going that way so I think I'll, I'll keep it I'll keep it vertical but I absolutely love that that was gorgeous and I think that was 10 pounds a meter two meters that and then we went and had a look round the um the market so they were packing up by then and it was so it was a little bit of a rush so but I managed to grab this wool fabric oh more green I'll, i will change at some point hopefully i'll be getting getting some more color in on the next one but we're just going with it for now <laughs> i just look look at the state of this too much green anyway never mind um at the moment that's the color du jour for me but so this is i uh, i don't really know what it is the the guy who was selling it obviously said it, it was boiled wool it is it isn't boiled wool at all, I don't think, because you can see on the other side, it's like a, it's like knitted. Um, and he was saying, oh, you know, it's £26 a metre down the road, but he was selling it for £12 a metre. Well, anyway, I managed to, you always got a haggle, haven't you? So I got it down for ten ten £10 a metre and there was just over two metres on the roll. So I got this for £20 and actually I have washed it. It, it doesn't smell of wool at all, which is another reason why I think it isn't. Um, but it has washed really, really nicely. And when I bought it, I thought I would like to make another fibre mood lose, um, sort of coat cardigan out of it. But the other pattern that I've remembered that I've got is the Tasuti Sydney pattern, which is like a short sleeved open coat, which I really, really do like. So I think I might make that out of it. The only slight problem with that is that that's the kind of the wool side or, you know, the fake, whatever it is, wool side. Um, and with the Sydney, the lapels kind of flap over. So you will actually see that side of it. I don't know whether that will bother me or not, really. I'm just going to have a think about that. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, there's a couple of options there. So it's either the Fibre Mood Lose or the um, Tasuti Sydney. Um, so that, those were my... Um, those are my fabrics. So all in all, it was, I have to say, probably the perfect weekend. So there was, um, you know, there was um, lots of, as I say, coming together of lots of friends and sewing chat and a little bit of drinking, not too much, um, and um, fabric shopping it, and dancing. It was just absolutely brilliant. So um, all in all, we had an amazing weekend. So uh, that's pretty much it for today, I think. Um, there are lots of other, oh, quite a few other um, vlogs you can watch on the Dressmakers Ball and there's loads of stuff all over Instagram. So um, I will leave you with a little bit of a, a montage of photographs of um, 
things that I've cobbled together from other people. I have to say that reminds me, um, some of the photos are from um, Anna from You Got Me In Stitches. So thank you so much to, uh, to her for adding her photos as well. So anyway, enjoy those and I hope to catch up with you soon. Thanks, take care, bye.